Lecture 11 series is completely dedicated to callbacks, but since callbacks go side by side with events, let us discuss them briefly here. We can write a program that will handle event mode input. We can define a callback function for each type of event that the graphics system recognizes. This user supplied function, which is called the, the callback function, is executed when the event occurs. Here is an example from glut, glut mouse function, which is a mouse callback function. Glut callbacks. Glut recognizes a subset of the events recognized by any particular window system, such as Windows, X, or Macintosh. Glut display function, we've already looked at this. This is a display callback function. Glut create menu is a menu create callback function. Glut mouse function is a function that uh, defines a callback function when a mouse is clicked. So this is for mouse clicking only is, uh, as opposed to mouse movement which I said in, uh, incorrectly in the previous lecture. Glut reshape function will execute if the window is reshaped. Glut keyboard function will execute if a key is pressed on the keyboard. Glut idle function identifies a callback function when the system is idle. So when the system is idle we may want to put some sort of animation on the screen and Hence, the idle function will get executed every time the system is found uh, is idle. Clut motion function relates to the mouse motion when a button is clicked. So this is uh, mouse click plus motion. On the other hand, glut passive motion function identifies a callback function that will get executed if the mouse is moved without clicking down any key. Here is an example usage. We define a glut mouse function and inside it we specify a callback function that would be executed. And as we can see this mouse callback function takes in a button type a state, button type is the left or right, state is whether it is pressed down or released and X and Y is the location of the mouse where it is currently located. So it also depends on the current location of the mouse. And this is how we use it inside the main function. We say glut mouse func and then inside this we write the name of the callback function that we want to execute every time a mouse key press event happens. And this is where we have defined this function. So it does not return anything. It takes an integer button uh, input, integer state input and a location uh, input that is given by whether it's a left button pressed or released or the location of where the location of the mouse is. At the moment we haven't written any uh, program inside this function. Recall that the last line in main.c or main.cpp for a program using glut was glut main loop which puts the program in an infinite event loop which means that the program continuously checks the queue of events and once it has reached the bottom of the queue it starts all over again and while it is che checking the queue, if it finds any event that has occurred inside the queue, for this event it will execute the appropriate callback function if we have defined one. If we have not defined a callback function for a certain event, that is simply ignored. The display callback function is executed whenever glut determines that the window should be refreshed. For example, when the window is first opened, when the window is reshaped, when the window is exposed because we closed a window that was in front of it and when the program when the user program decides it wants to change the display the graphics inside the display in main we define the callback function for display as glut display func my display or we can choose any other name that we want to give to our callback function uh, which is our display callback function Every GLUT program must have a display callback. This is about graphics and we must have a window to display our graphics. 
There is another method called posting redisplays. Many events may invoke the display callback function. For example, inside the event queue, multiple events may have happened which calls for refreshing the display. And we don't want the display to get refreshed every time something happens. We just want it to get, uh, get refreshed once. So we can avoid multiple instances of calling the display callback function by using this glut post re redisplay. So every time we do something inside the program that warrants a refresh of the display, we call this function which is glut post redisplay. This simply sets a flag. Glut checks to see if this flag is set at the end of the event loop and if it is set, it just refreshes the display once only.